On MAFS, who discovered true love, every couple that met on the dating show and are still together. Friends, welcome to our lifetime treasures. In today's special video, you will get the latest update on Married at First Sight. So let's begin and stay with us by subscribing the channel. Over the past seven weeks, viewers of Married at First Sight's 2024 season have witnessed both dramatic breakups and blossoming romantic relationships, providing the show's typical dose of drama. With surprising infidelity scandals and shocking events that kept fans on the tip of their seats, the most recent bombshell season saw a new romance blossom. It's unclear which of the 2024 couples will endure throughout time, despite much conjecture on which of them are still together. Even though it might seem difficult to discover true love in the world of reality TV, some couples from the Channel 9 program have gone on to enjoy successful relationships. Here, Daily Mail Australia looks at those couples who met on the show and remained together long after the cameras stopped running and found genuine love. Michael Brunelli and Martha Califatidis On the sixth season of MAFS in 2019, Martha and Michael saw each other for the first time at the altar. In the four years since they exited the dating experiment together, their friendship has only grown stronger, despite early reservations about their partnership. Though there were doubts that the up-and-coming influencer Martha and the grounded school teacher Michael would make a compatible couple, their blossoming romance disproved the doubters. The couple became engaged in December 2021 on the reality TV show, following their vows being exchanged in a non-binding ceremony. After a challenging pregnancy for Martha, they delivered their first child together, a son named Lucius, in February 2023. Recently, as she gushed over their connection, Martha expressed her wishes to have more children with Michael in the future. I feel like I am going to have all four of my kids at home with my parents, so, mother, if you're listening, be ready, she joked during an appearance on the Sleep Deprived podcast this week. As she talked about how amazing it has been living with her parents in Melbourne, she also disclosed that her best advice for newlyweds is to move back in with them. She described how her mother Mary has provided her and Michael with invaluable assistance in raising their now 13-month-old son Lucius. Cameron Merchant and Jules Robinson In 2019, Jules and Cameron emerged as the golden couple of the sixth season of MAFS, and they have since demonstrated their enduring love for one another. After meeting on the show, they got married in a second televised wedding that appeared on a current affair within a year. In his vows, Cam declared, You are the person of my dreams. You are my best friend and the source of all my needs and desires. My perfect love is you. I am very excited to spend the rest of my life with you because I love you so much. You are my choice. I give you this ring to symbolize my personal promise of an unbreakable love and trust, Jewel said in hers. After welcoming their first child, a son named Oliver, in October 2020, the happy couple announced last month that they were expecting their second child together. After attempting to conceive for several years, Jules, 43, revealed the news in an interview with Stellar Magazine, stating that she and Cameron, 40, couldn't be happier. Our three-and-a-half-year-old son Ollie and I have been trying since he was a baby. She said, we thought going into 2024, if it doesn't happen, we will look at IVF. However, I never gave up hope that my body could perform this feat. This time around, it's been very pleasant. I have to stop hiding it. I've been popped. This time, she gushed, it has been nice keeping it between family and friends and a bit more private. Since then, Jules has filled her Instagram with a ton of gorgeous pregnancy photos as she counts down the days before she welcomes her child, whose gender has not yet been revealed. Mel Rawson and Bryce Ruthven The most contentious connection during the tumultuous eighth season in 2021 was undoubtedly that between Bryce and Alyssa. Since the beginning, they have been at the center of controversy due to Bryce's alleged flirtations with other brides and his alleged secret girlfriend outside of the program. He was also called a gaslighter, and viewers were so infuriated by his actions that they complained to the Australian watchdog of media. After leaving the show, Bryce and Melissa have surpassed all expectations and developed a lasting romance despite being involved in drama on the show. Ten weeks early in October 2021, the couple welcomed their twin sons, Levi and Tate, who are now two years old. She recently opened up about her challenging birth experience, stating that her sons were born small and delicate and weighed just about one kilogram apiece. Melissa wrote on her blog her second shift, At that moment, I knew how selfish it was of me to have been excited they were born early. They ought to have remained safe 
developing, and healthier in my stomach for weeks. For the first few months of their life, the newborn sons were hospitalized in the neonatal ward. Melissa described traveling home by themselves as nearly unbearable. Melissa gushed over the hospital workers that assisted in taking care of her children despite acknowledging that it was a traumatic experience. After more than two years together, the happy couple still post adorable family photos to their Instagram page, reflecting how much their family has grown. Melissa and Bryce formally exchanged vows at a beachside wedding in Sorrento, Victoria, in February of last year. Two years after initially marrying on NAFS, the happy couple got married and their twin boys were present and went down the aisle with them. Before the ceremony, Melissa told the Herald Sun, Our MAFS wedding was absolutely beautiful, but it did not showcase us as a couple because we were strangers. Carrie Knight and Balbazine Johnny Carrie and Johnny, whose touching journey won them over during their time on the show, were another season 8 success story. Before departing as a couple after the final vows, they were an instant pair and managed to escape much of the drama during the experiment. As their love story began to take shape, the couple bought their first house together in 2022 and got engaged in July of the same year. Two years after first connecting on MAFS, they then got married in a lavish ceremony in Brisbane in January 2023. The delighted pair subsequently announced that they were expecting their first child together in January of this year. They shared a cute photo of Carrie holding her growing baby bulge while Johnny pressed his head adoringly to her belly to confirm the happy news. The pair contemplated their journey in the text that went along with the photo, which they took with their cherished dog, Enzo. Baby B incoming, June 2024, they wrote, I'm thrilled to be expanding our family with a much-needed and cherished addition. Though not as long as others, our travel took a little longer than we had anticipated. Considering everyone who is still on their journey. Both Bryce Moore and Aaron Bateman When Aaron and Bryce initially met at the altar during the 2016 season of MAFS, they were among the show's first success stories. Even though they weren't a great fit at first, the couple's relationship only got stronger on the show as love gradually blossomed between them. Even though little is known about the private couple, after they left the public eye, they are still said to be together today. Refinery29 stated that they were believed to have celebrated their seventh anniversary in 2022, making them the longest-lasting couple from the show. In contrast to other MAFS couples, Aaron and Bryce would rather keep things low-key on social media. While Aaron concentrates on posting culinary and recipe items to her public social media presence, Bryce maintains a private Instagram account. When Bryce last appeared on Instagram, it was in February 2020 when she posted a cute picture of the two of them standing outside their new home. Evelyn Ellis and Duncan James Although they weren't partnered with each other on Series 10, Duncan and Evelyn have subsequently gotten involved. Thus, they aren't quite a mena AFS couple. The couple went public with their affair in May of last year, just months after Season 10 aired at the beginning of the year, although they didn't start dating until after the cameras stopped rolling. They had previously told Nine Now how they ended up becoming friends after being brought together for a week during the MAFS couple swap experiment. However, they didn't begin to feel romantically attached until Duncan separated from wife Alyssa Barment and Evelyn broke up with husband Rupert Bugden. The couple took their love to the next level and moved in together in August after going public with their affair in May after months of rumors. Duncan disclosed earlier this month how he sweetly formalized his relationship with Evelyn. He discussed the proposal he made to Evelyn when they initially started dating with Nine Entertainment. We were dining at a manly restaurant. We had gone on a few occasions together, and he said that there weren't many people in the restaurant. I didn't know you had to ask someone formally, will you be my partner? Subsequently, Duncan proposed a romantic relationship to Evelyn by asking her to be his girlfriend. It almost felt like a proposal, but all I was doing was asking someone to be my girlfriend, he continued.